The wait is over. The 4080 Superpod is now here, part of the new GeForce Now Ultimate tier. We've been doing our best to test the new hardware upgrades just to see how much better the hardware is versus the 3080 hardware. Plus, as you might know, we have our benchmark series, which we find the hardware specs of a platform and benchmark them versus other platforms. Here's our video for the RTX 3080 hardware if you're curious on seeing what I'm referring to in this video. So naturally, we wanted to see what the RTX 4080 hardware was, just as we did previously. So we ran a couple of games that have an in-game benchmark to see what the 4080 is running. After checking a number of benchmarks, we noticed something. The hardware comes back with generic labels. We can't determine the exact hardware running the 4080. It's gonna be difficult comparing these specs to other tiers. Now to us, this is an interesting move. It's quite clear that this was a deliberate decision. Why? Remember that the old 3080 hardware is not going anywhere. It's still under the ultimate tier and is reportedly being used for lower end games that don't necessarily need 4080 caliber hardware to reach 240Hz at 1080p for games like CSGO or Rainbow Six Siege. Now I'm not saying they'll be using 3080 hardware for these games, but those games can hit well over 240 FPS at 1080p on 3080 hardware. So there's a good chance that might happen. Now this leads me into the reason why they hit hardware stats. They don't want you to know what hardware they're giving you, so no one can complain about the configuration rig you're given during your session if you're given something lower than the 4080 hardware. Now you might be thinking, this is a shady move. Maybe, but there might be two ways of looking at it. Imagine you running the benchmark in Rainbow Six Siege on the 4080 tier, and you still get the A10G. That right there is emotional damage. Gamers can be hard to please at times, and Nvidia definitely does not want you contacting support over the ultimate tier hardware. How dare you! I've been in marketing and IT for a number of big companies over the last 20 years. Support teams are expensive. This will save Nvidia a ton of time and money in the long run if they just hide the exact hardware they're using for each rig. Now on the flip side, as a customer, I want to make sure I'm getting what I paid for especially since NVIDIA should be fulfilling their promises for 240Hz on 1080p and 120Hz on 4K. I'll hold them to it, and I think you will too. You want the best solution for your gaming setup. That's what you paid for. Don't worry, I get it. We can only speculate at this point what we're really getting for the 4080 hardware. We've stated in the past that we believe that they're using the NVIDIA L40G for the GPU, but the CPU is another story. The generic label states an AMD Ryzen 16 core processor. The 3080 hardware was running a Threadripper, so I believe they would keep the same trend for the CPU and stay with the Threadripper, if they even upgraded this at all. If they did upgrade, I bet they upgraded to a Zen 3 version. So I'm guessing it's an AMD Ryzen Threadripper Pro 5995WX. The 3080 and the 4080 seem to share the same RAM capacity as well. Well, these were my overall thoughts on the matter. Hopefully we can get the real hardware specs soon, if they give them up. I just hope Nvidia has their configuration set well for each game so they use the correct hardware. We're trusting in you Nvidia, don't let us down. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Now if you like my thoughts on the new hardware of the GeForce Now Ultimate tier, give us a like. Also, make sure to join as a member of the channel or join our Patreon in the links below. And above all else, make sure to subscribe to keep it locked right here at the only place where you can do battle in gaming heaven, Cloud Gaming Battle. This is the Black Knight, it's about to get interesting.